Septum 2. <clears throat> My tabletop Chinese Sterling Engine tutorial. I recently bought this one. It's in the frame. It's brand new. Uh, and uh, this is a what am I trying to say? <clears throat> Most of these little manufactured engines have at least one design flaw. The flaw in that one is that the displacer is extra massive because it's made of glass. The piston in that engine, I think, is, is not overly massive. I, it may be mostly graphite. <clears throat> that, that's, that's good news. So, we have a good piston and a so-so displacer. I have a, another engine that I bought years ago, um, and here's part of it. This is the displacer from this type of engine. <clears throat> that has a metal can cylinder, displacer cylinder, and it's just held in snugly with a pair of O-rings. And the displacer is a low mass piece of aluminum, billet aluminum, or aluminum rod. Um, you know, that's not overly massive. The, the shaft it's on is more massive than the displacer. So, if one wanted to, one could try to lighten the mass of the shaft. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> for other folks that, have, that own some of these, you might look at ways of bringing these two best designs together. A low mass piston and a low mass displacer. Or a two-cylinder gamma. There's, there's a lot of them out there made out of syringes and whatnot. <clears throat> um, I don't know where those people live. But um, the company called AirPod that makes those pumping coffee carafes, they sell, they sell these bits. So look up AirPod and look at the bits that they have for sale. I believe that that's where this, these components came from. This has a glass cylinder and a lightweight piston. Um, this engine had a heavy metal piston and a heavy metal cylinder. Well, the cylinder doesn't matter, but the heavy mass piston did. So... <clears throat> If a person wants tactile proof of what I'm saying, and you have one of these little engines, get it running and pick it up and hold it in your hand, and you will see that there's still a lot of vibration there. They make these things reasonably well so that vibration is damped, but there's still a lot there. The absolute low-tech way to approach this problem would be to anchor this plate on something really, really solid. Something made out of oak. Um, these, these glass cylinders can break if you, obviously, if you abuse them. And, um, and who knows what, you know, abuse varies from place to place and time to time. However, <clears throat> Rather than overstressing this glass cylinder, a person could first start by anchoring their little engine even better than it came, and then uh, and then the only other thing to do is to reduce the mass in the piston or the or the displacer or both. Um, 
We've all seen one of these run. I'm not going to bore you with that. Bye.